Okay, so the first thing we want to do is go to the Unity Hub here, and what we're going to do is create a brand new Unity project in order to create our ARKit uh, app. So I'm going to click on the new button up here. Uh, make sure you do have the 3D template selected, and we are going to enter in a project name. Uh, we'll just go Intro to ARKit here. Uh, you can save it to wherever you want, and then what we're going to do is click Create to create our project. Alright, so here we are inside of Unity, we have the basic scene set up. Now what we're going to do is go Window, then Package Manager. And what we're doing here in the Package Manager is going to just be installing some of the packages we need in order to use ARKit. So what we're going to do is uh, wait for the packages to load up and find AR Foundation right here. Uh, we can click See All Versions. And what we want to do is get the 3.0 version, so I'm going to click on Advanced, then Show Preview Packages. I'm just going to show some of the preview packages. Uh, depending on when you're watching this, 3.0 uh, might be out as a main release, but right now it is in preview, so we're just going to go show preview packages, click on the 3.0 preview right here, and install that. Now, the reason why we're also getting AR Foundation is because Unity originally had the AR Kit uh, SDK as a separate thing, but as they've introduced AR Foundation, which is a sort of... Uh, higher level view of AR for working with both the Android and the iOS versions. They've combined that into one here in AR Foundation and the ARKit SDK has been added to this as well. So we need to install AR Foundation right here. It shouldn't take too long to install the assets that we need. And now that that's done, we also need to download the platform specific plugin as well. So what we want to do is underneath AR Foundation, let's look for the ARKit XR plugin. Uh, down here and again we want to get the 3.0 version of this or really whatever the most recent version is for you it might be 4.0 3.5 uh, we just want to get the most recent version of this so we can have m many of the new features that ARKit supports in our project so I'm going to click on the 3.0 preview version here and then click install now you do need to make sure that this version is the same as the AR foundation version so for me I'm going to make sure that they're both three the 3.0 version as they do need to communicate between each other. Uh, and ARKit also requires you to install the AR Foundation package as well, as that is dependent on that package. Okay, so now that's done, we can close out of the package manager right here and actually begin to create our scene. Now, by default, we have the main camera and directional light. Let's just delete the main camera as we're going to be adding in an AR specific camera right now. So let's right click on the hierarchy. We then want to go down to XR and add in a new AR session origin. This just defines the center of the world and adds a couple other components as well that we need in order to uh, actually run our AR session. And inside as a child, we also have the AR camera, which will display what your camera sees as the background and do all of the AR uh, camera movements as well. Now, along with this, we also need to right click again, go XR, and we need to add in the AR session. This basically runs many of the AR um, actual processes of calculating the surfaces and all of that so we can actually get the AR app working as we wish. Okay, so now that we have that, let's go up to File here. And what we want to do is then go Build Settings. Uh, the reason why is because we need to switch over to the iOS version. But first, let's click on Add Open Scenes to add the current scene to the Scenes and Build. Uh, select the iOS platform right here. So we'll just click Switch Platform. And if you don't have this available in the platform list here, uh, you can go to your installs page on the Unity Hub and click on the three dots next to your Unity install to add the iOS module. It's only a few gigabytes, um, but it does allow us to then build to iOS devices. With that done, we can close out of here. And that is pretty much it for this lesson. We have our Unity project set up and ready to go for AR. Uh, in the next lesson, what we're going to be doing is working on tracked images in ARKit and getting that working on our device. So I'll see you all then in the next lesson.